Check this out, guys. I got me a new Infinity. I'm just joking. I still have my car, but that that airbag is for an Infinity that I'm working on. I'm actually heading over there right now. Let me go ahead and show you the car I'm working on. Right, this is the car. This is the new airbag. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace an airbag today. And as you can see, there's one screw on the side, one screw right there. I think there's one more. Oh no, it's only two. So as you can see, this is the old one. You gotta make sure you disconnect the battery first. And then there's just two little tops. Let me show you. See that little hole right there? All right guys, so you gotta make sure you take out just those two bolts. Use a wrench and a, these are T30s with the little hole in the middle. I don't know exactly the term for it, but that's what they are. And once they come out, you're able to take the bag out. I haven't got into that point, but we'll do it together. Once you take those two out, you're able to just pull the bag out, but there is two wires behind it. So you gotta make sure you get these two first. And to remove these little clips, it's very simple actually. All you have to do is put in one of these or something small, you can actually use your nail and try to get behind this and pull it up but it takes some force but they, it won't break i promise you and if it breaks these only cost like five bucks on ebay and you just cut them and then um, solder new ones on there and it's pretty simple but now i'm gonna put the new airbag in and that's it you put the airbag back in you put the two bolts back on and then you put these tops back on and you're fucking done and that's how you change the airbag but if you have any questions about the airbag um, leave them down below. I always get back to everybody and I try to help out as many people as I can. If I don't reply within a day, just give me a couple of more days and I will get to you. So don't even worry. But it's very straightforward. Anybody could do this. Um, there's also a module down here and I will show you in a second. But if it's your personal car, I would swap out the airbag and probably reset the module that's under your console. And the reason for that is just so you can make sure it works if you ever crash again. But it's up to you if you just don't want to see that air, you know, that ripped airbag just sitting right here. And you don't want to spend too much money. You could do that. You could probably take your car to Infinity or whatever brand your car is and have them just scan it and reset it. And it might work, but I'm not sure. They'll probably charge you something. But yeah, it's up to you. But what I do is sometimes I just take these out and send them to a guy and have them reset it. It only charges me like 30, 40 bucks. We could buy a new one of these, which they're like 80 bucks on eBay. So either way you want, doesn't really matter, but that's just for the airbag. I'm also doing the seatbelt because it got stuck. So I'm gonna swap out a new one. But anyways, that's how you do the airbag. Um, currently what I'm doing is actually body work. Um, as you can see, this fender was painted. You know, we told the guy that we get the paint, but he wanted to go and buy the material himself, so he did that. And as you can see, the tone is a, just slightly off, probably two shades off, but it's okay. It's, you know, he just wanted to get back on the road, put a new light, put another, well, I'm about to put another light, because this one actually works, but the guy wanted it to look brand new. As you can see, it doesn't look right. That one's new, that one's old. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, he wanted me to do the rims, so we got the rims over here, let me show you. All right, I put the flash on so it could look a lot better. But as you can see, these are the rims. They're stock rims, but they he, they were gray and they were kind of beat up. So we kind of sanded them down and also filled little imperfections in that were wrong, like curb rashes and stuff like that. It wasn't too hard, but um, it's just very time consuming. And that was it. That's all we've done on that car. But anyways, I hope this video kind of helped you. I kind of made it on the fly, so it's not the best, but I do have that review on my car coming next. And I have a couple other videos that I can make. So stay tuned for that. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe because it helps me out a lot. Now we're out of this bitch. I'm like completely dirty.